my aunt was was asked out on a date by a beetle? There's a lot so to unpack never, there. So he would never buy a new tie. Yeah. Did you read that one? I I watched the movie. Oh yeah, I definitely the watched the movie. All the glove compartments were checked and shit. I was, Whoa, I was really? Not, yeah, yeah, dude. I don't think there's anything that's not easier said than done. What there's a, not a single thing that is harder to say than, than it is to, to do. do. Nothing. Nothing. Oh man. Uh, maybe learning a language. A little wordplay there. Oh, because, because it's both. saying it is, is the learn- hard part. Oh. Bada bang, bada boom. Easy peasy. Welcome back to the Picky Boys podcast. Welcome, welcome, I'm welcome. I'm former Trader Joe's manager, Danny. I'm current uh, Trader Joe manager, Antonio. You don't know what a Trader Joe's manager looks like. I, I have to, I have I to explain that joke to Antonio because the man doesn't has never been in a Trader Joe's. I'm sorry I'm not in the organic section, the pompous, high pedestal organic section. Trader Joe's is not pompous in any capacity. Isn't it? I don't know. I've never been in there. Well, you're missing out. Oh. It's, 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 it's. It's great. That's uh, it. <laughs> it's oh, a little. I see you're, well, you're going back already. The the setup is a little chaotic. Right, like the fruit is in the. F- they uh, change. Vegetable they section. change a lot. They change everything. It's like a, a weird maze. But the the food you can get really good food there, and it's all branded. Dude, you know. are, are you are you a person who, uh, let's say, you pick up like you really want soup that day? You pick mm-hmm. up a can of soup, and then you're kind of by the vegetables, and you're like, you know what? I don't want this goddamn soup, and you just put it right back. Do you put it right back and give it to the like worker's job for to to put it back, or do you like go back to the soup aisle? And oh, put it back? oh! So you're saying if like you put it wherever you are, sh- if you're shopping and then you you take something out, yeah. you put it back. Just wherever where it, it is. like wherever no, you don't no, want. No, of it now. course not. You go back, of course. Psychopath, dude! I'll chuck my banana um, bundle well, into the bacon. I don't de- care. It depends on where I am. If I'm at like a TJ Maxx or a Marshall, that place uh, uh, constantly looks like a tornado blew Dude, through. Dude, it looks like and so, yeah, and, a and, war and, zone. So, and so you can just throw it on. I think I think your policy is to throw it on the ground. <laughs> just that's, throw it, throw it that's, on the ground because it's think. easier for the other customers to not be confused. It's like, why is this size like woman's in this uh, big and tall men's section? No, What's but happening? that's that's kind of what makes it fun though, right? It's like a little Easter egg hunt. It's a little Easter egg hunt. A little but, panty hunt. But also... Um, I, at first, I went when you were saying if you're looking for soup and you can go into soup. It's like I don't think I've ever. I'm not a big cooker. I don't. I don't cook. Okay. Like I don't think I've ever been like, oh, I'm looking for soup. Like let me go to a supermarket. If right. I'm looking for food, I'm going to the. I'm. I'm. Somebody's. I'm getting the soup very soon. Somebody's. Somebody ma- somebody's making, making the, the soup. soup. Okay. I do go on grocery store trips where I, you know, have a list and I'll like plan ahead. But I've, I'll. I'll never say, oh, I'm hungry. Let me go to the supermarket and whip something up. Okay. No. I mean, all right. No. That's fair, you know. Because I get hangry sometimes. Uh, yeah, and I'd rather other people make me my sandwich. Yeah. I'm not making this and, sandwich. And, you know, it's a bad habit. It's a waste of money. Right. But uh, it, 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 there's something... But I like it. There's something that is just unbeaten. It's, it's, it's somebody somebody making food for you. Like, I love yeah. I love going out to eat. It's, it's one of my favorite things. I like to think my mom is back there. Like, uh, every single worker back there is my mom. No, you see, this is... This, you don't like your mom's cooking? This is this all, the problem? This all stems back is that they, that's also what my parents did. My parents were like, oh, yeah. I mean, because they both had jobs. They were working, and they they get home, you know, tired, tired as fuck. And then they go, oh, yeah, we're just going to get, like, order from Phillies, you know? Yeah, we're going <laughs> like, to get some pizza, bud. Like, we're just going to get some pizza. And I was totally on board with I that. Like, yeah, pizza. You know, you know, you know now they cook. They try. Uh, and no, it's good. Uh, it, 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 it's good Good cooking. Right. You, you, it's definitely cooking. You have to get into it, you know? It's definitely cooked. No, it, no, it is. It is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good cooking. The thing is, my grandma was a good cook, but she's one of those grandmas where... Uh, there, there were no recipes. Like uh, she, she had them all in yeah, her head. Yeah. She and and my mom tried to pry them out of her, but she was just like, yeah, yeah. You just put in that much salt. Yeah, like you, she just knows. Yeah, you, know? you do this. You wait till the pot is this hot. Like you touch it on the side. It's like, okay, that's not that much of a burn. Now it's ready. Yeah. It's oh, like, oh. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, exactly. Yeah. She. The, the grandmas have a weird masochistic Steel side fingers. to to touch burning pans for yeah. some reason. It's like, is this hot enough? It's like, uh, I smell burning flesh. My, my grandma used to touch her iron. Okay, that to is, see, to that see is, if it was ready. It's like oh, she go oh 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 oh. It's like she goes oh, uh, almost ready. I, <laughs> I I I used to think she was you know like an invincible. I mean she also she also used to just put out candles like. Yeah like yeah yeah. My grandfather did that. Very like, like you know. So I don't know if they're if, as you become older, do you become more flame retardant? I'm not sure. Maybe just I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think we should just start taking our grandparents and throwing them in fires. 
Well, but like they I mean, might walk only, out. There's only a few ways to f- they figure it out. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll just start. Oh, we'll just then we'll just start taking their leathery hands and use it in the fire. Maybe fire. that's what it is. It's it's like old leathery skin. Like those nerves are dead, dude. Those nerves are dead. Oh yeah, you ever hear Rachel Ray talk about it? Rachel Ray is like, I can't. I have no feeling in my fingers. Anymore. I can't. I can't. My I can't grab. My grip strength is gone. <laughs> By the way, shout out Rachel Ray. What a what a woman. I mean, she's great. You you don't like Rachel Ray? I mean, yeah, she definitely yeah. She's, she's what a woman. certainly one of the better cooking show personalities. Yeah, I mean, who's who? Uh, I don't Paula know. Dean. I don't know. I feel like Jenny Craig's like a fake one, right? No, no, Jenny Craig's a diet program. Yeah, yeah. But is that where's Jenny? She has to be somewhere. No, has, Jenny Craig is a celebrity woman. Oh, oh, it's her thing. She's the spokeswoman for it. Oh, uh, yeah, Rachel Ray's. Yeah, she kind of has like a Fergie look going on. You don't know who Jenny Craig is? I, I think I know. If it's the girl from the commercial, that's Jenny. That's Jenny Craig. Then, yeah, I mean, I, she looks like Fergie's older cousin oh, that lost yeah, a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah, she, she yeah. Looks, she looks like if Fergie wasn't a celebrity. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's... That's, yeah. that's trajectory. Just Ergie. Yeah, just Ergie. Just Ergie. Oh, this is a fun one. Uh-oh. How much do you think Fergie is worth? Oh, man. See, now I, I could... It's my coin flip. I could go, like, deceivingly high or deceivingly low. So I'm gonna say. Wait, do you know it? Or are you looking? I know I do, but I just, I don't, I don't want to. I've been saying a, a, a multitude a, a multitude of wrong things on this podcast recently, so I want to make sure. <laughs> I'm right. uh, um, I'm gonna. I think Will I Am is worth like ten million, and I'm making that basis off of my guess. So I would say Fergie, but being a girl though, I'd say five million. Five million. Five million. How wrong am I? You're very, very wrong. God You're damn. very, very wrong about Will I Am too. Will Will I Am is worth seventy million dollars. Okay. He's. I mean, he is. He's a. He's a media mogul. You know. He's so a, then, he's so a, then, how much is Fergie? Forty-five million dollars. All right. That makes sense to me. I guess. And then the that other two, the other two, they're bankrupt. They're, yeah, they're <laughs> they're digging holes the somewhere the in the mo- sand. The one with the mohawk and the one with the long hair. Yeah. What about all the people of Maroon Five? And now it's just. Maroon. Oh yeah, it's they're just, all gone. It's they just, went. You don't need us, dude. And he was like, "Yeah, I guess not." You think that's what happened? You don't think he was like, "I don't f- need you." Oh, oh, you mean the aggressive part? I mean, probably. I don't think they. Oh, were, you think? Oh, you I think they went? You changed Adam. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah? the man covered himself in tattoos for no reason. Yeah, he's uh, I, yeah. He, and he's on The Voice. I mean, you, you. I mean, you think they were like, "Oh, we don't want to be part of this multi-million-dollar money-making machine anymore." That's a good point. And yeah, yeah, you're right. So Adam. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Same thing with Panic at the Disco. That is, Panic at the Disco has, just, has, has been just Brendan Yuri for like 10 years now. Just Panic. What, how, how many people were in that group? It was a whole band. Oh. I feel like that's always what happens. It's like when, when you start a band, like, in, like when the teenagers or whatever started in the garage or when you're older, it doesn't matter. Do you always think the lead, in the back of your head, if, if this ba- you're the bass guitarist and you're like, oh, this lead singer is just going to leave me in the goddamn dust eventually. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, bands have a very, you know, you're you're right. The lead singer is like kind of. It's always the lead singer. I've never heard of the like the bassist that blew up compared to. No, the- no, they do. But the thing is, the thing about bands is that you know, it, it's it, it's it's a group dynamic, and it's very easy to splinter off. You know, I mean, imagine being, you know, there was, uh, there was another Beatle. There was a fifth beetle. No, there was a there was a fourth beetle, and and and, and he was like, guys, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, but well, that's different. That's like, okay, goodbye, next piece. And then he and then and then they replaced him with Ringo, and I mean, you know, they could be the Star. greatest band and yeah, know, the most popular band in the world. Yeah, but then it's like, th- see, that's different than having four and and the other three cleverly going. Oh, this guy kind of sucks. Like, how do we get get him out of here? Like, if he said, all right, I want to go, all right, what can you do? But do you know that? I mean, I mean, like, imagine, I mean, what do you? Don't you like? Don't you just hate yourself forever? Oh, it was like before they were anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was right before. It oh, or maybe he did get kicked out. I don't know. But either way, there was a there was a beetle that was not in the original yeah. four. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, you know, my aunt was was asked out on a date by a beetle. I swear to God, like a like a like one of the she, ones she was, walking on the was, street. She beetle? was she she was she was working at a. Uh, a music label as a uh, an office like a what is it, a receptionist kind of situation like a secretary kind of and thing? and and George Harrison one of the Beatles walked in and and, and was like, hey, like, like would you like to go go on like a date and like gave her a phone number and I think was, it's had, it probably was, sounded more British than that could do it a little more British like, than that Oi <laughs> Want to do a quick <laughs> Why do you do the Oi 
<laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a quick quickie. Yep, yep. There quickie it is. Quickie in the tall van. Oh. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. Me. But, but, but. Uh, and she uh, denied she, it? She, she, she said, get out of here, she, freak. She said, no, I don't know. Maybe she wouldn't want to live that life. Yeah. Oh, oh, but she knew he was a beetle. Of course she knew. Like at that point, they were beetles. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. That's funny. And then, and then my 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 uncle actually uh, shot John Lennon. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, he got a little jealous. So yeah, so you know, I mean, we have a the more we, the Moriarty's have a, a, a checkered past with, with the, the Beatles. Beatles. The part of the part of its lore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's hilarious. No, the, there is a there is a picture of the guy that shot John Lennon. There's a picture of him getting a, an autograph from him that day, which yeah. is such a weird, such a crazy, crazy, you know. It's a picture of the of a person who murdered the person like hours later. Yeah, it's 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 weird. Yeah, I don't know. Must be a good book. Catcher on the Rye. Oh, that's what it was. God, that book sucks. What? Oh my god, that book sucks. That that book is the only thing we read in high school that was worth anything. I didn't read it. It was. Oh. I didn't read it. You're the worst. I didn't read it. You're the worst. I didn't, no, but I, think I I'm reading a book. No, but I actually. I mean, it's it's. I actually could see that. Because, you could see, like, I could see if you didn't read it and then you were you heard all these people talking about it, how you would dislike it, you know. But I, it, but it is good. I gave it like the fre- like wh- whatever year it was. I gave it the freshman fifteen, the freshman fifteen pages. I was like, this book sucks. Is that Holden Caulfield? Yeah, sucks. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, I, I think I think I think it's good. I liked it. I like that. The two big ones are like that and the Great Gatsby. The thing the thing is, the Catcher in the Rye has this like weird, like infamous history like it used to be banned in a lot of places and like there was a bunch of like you know it's kind of like exact the guy who killed john lennon was like you know was was had it or whatever and so when you read it you're you're expecting something you know cool. like crazy and it's just you know the story of this like this loser <laughs> so, but um but it is a good book that and the great gatsby pretty good i know you like the great gatsby so i'm not gonna make good, fun of good the- high school reads I'm i not, think yeah yeah i guess so who doesn't like the Great Gatsby? Come on. I mean, you know, Green Light. I know you liked it, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. What? Well, Gatsby. no, I want to hear. No, your I know opinion. you I wanna, liked did it. Did you read that one? I did, I watched the movie. Oh yeah, I definitely the watched the movie. Ugh. I definitely watched the movie. Yeah. Oh, get out of here, you pompous sucked. pineapple. The movie sucked. Although now I I, I I do always. I think Leonardo DiCaprio as Gatsby is great cast. <laughs> yeah, you like that? You saw? I him? mean, it now now whenever I think of him, it's Leo. One 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 of our high school English teachers is like the leading, the leading authority on F. Scott Fitzgerald in America. In our high school? Yeah, yeah. What the hell was he? Do- is it was it a she? No, he. It was he. What the hell was was he doing there? In our high school? What the? Well, I mean, that's you know, that's not. A, it's not like it's a. Pro- it's I understand. It's not. A, yeah, I get it. I got you. It's like it's a real money maker. Yeah, and yeah, he, but but still, really I feel like that he sounds like, important. This is like a newsletter about like F. Scott Fitzgerald history. I feel like that sounds important. You know what I'm saying? Also, fun fact about that guy, which I thought was very interesting, very like eclectic English teacher. Yeah, is um he only wore ties from dead people, like he only wore ties that he was gifted from somebody who had died. There's a lot so to unpack never, there. So he would never buy a new tie. And I think he wanted to start something like the Dead Man's Tie that, Club or whatever. Well, a lot of those because, uh, because customers would be. Yeah, and, and I and, and I don't know I don't know what he did. You know, I don't know if he like went to a funeral and was like, uh, can I have your Yeah, I like that tie. Sorry for your loss. Can I have these ties? Like that's how he has <laughs> that's how he creates his uh product, his supply. He like goes to funerals and just takes their ties. And I wonder if he knows, you know, if there's if there's a story behind each one. That would be fun. Um, I picture anyone subscribing to that, getting the tie, not wearing it, and just like sniffing it, like oh, that those kind no, no, those no. kind of people. I think I think it's cool. Like a story behind the tie, I get it. I, you say this is the tie of this man. You this know, man it's like you're living a on life. You're you're he's you're living, living through you in his tie. Him. And there was, there was a, there was a lot of uh, weird tie things. Another one of our English teachers. We had, he had English a, teachers, I guess. He had a. T- uh, this is less weird. <laughs> okay. But he had. 365 ties so that so that he could wear a tie every school year with every new class and he would never wear the same tie once more what, than once and what he gets another uh, per year yeah because yeah. then they it's like on. he's getting another 365 no, no, no. right and you don't actually need 365 you probably need like 100 yeah whatever, whatever. five 
times whatever and less than that, right? Yeah. It's only yeah, five yeah. days a week. But, 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 you know, I mean, and I, I, I love that idea. I, we love know Danny idea. likes that. Danny's, tr- I mean, I, I, if you guys know, he's mentioned a couple of times, Danny's trying to do 365 sock. I'm trying to do socks for life clubs. Socks for life club. I, like, like, I, I think I mentioned this. When I was a kid, there's nothing more that, that I, I, that I yeah. wanted than just like, I, I, then I loved than just new socks. Like a new pair of socks is the best. Yeah. And so I've, I've been looking and, and, and hopefully potentially soon executing Having <laughs> three hundred sixty-five pairs of socks for a whole year, and then I just w- do one load of sock laundry f- per year, yeah, and it will probably last me like a decade, yeah. And you know, no more crusty sock for Danny. And at the at the end, I mean, like you know, the max amount of times I would have ever worn the sock is ten times in that decade. In that decade, which is, I mean, it, it seems like I lose socks all the time. I, I it seems. It, uh, on the surface, it could seem wasteful, but I think it's actually pretty uh, ingenious, frankly. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah you could definitely self exclaim. Uh, what's that word? Self exclaim. Self proclaimed genius. Self proclaimed genius. Yes. Self proclaimed yes, genius. I don't know why I thought it started with an E. Self claimed. No, no. Self proclaimed genius. Yes. Yeah. I never masturbated into a sock. I never got the appeal. Me neither. What the fuck? I didn't get it. I feel like it would hurt. I know friends that have. You need a soft sock. Uh, you need a soft sock, like a like a Hanes sock or a Hunt. What's what's the good sock brand? What do I got on? No name. I don't know what this is. Mm. But, but like hey, like, and a lot of people pretend like they're using tube socks. Well, no, I don't think I don't think it is a Hanes sock. I think it's like one of those special socks. You know those like you know those socks that like, Jordan are like fuzzy. You know, like house socks. Yeah, but then they get. Well, yeah, I know what you're about. I actually have a pair of those somewhere. That's in the that's the only sock I could imagine fucking. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I had I had friends that did it, but I I didn't understand the, dude. It's also I was terrified as a kid of my parents. I think that's what it stems from, like the masturbating in the bathroom. I was terrified of like my parents just finding a a, a crusty sock or a wet rag or something. I was like, this is like I don't want that, that I don't want that. The thing I don't get about it is that I don't like put any other bodily fluids into an item and then just leave it like that. That's, that's what I never, I thought it was so gross. Cause you're just coming into this thing and then throwing it under your bed, and throwing it away. Like, like that's, a dead, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. Like that's like, I, I didn't do that with like tissues, you know, just like <laughs> just throw it under the bed. Like that's, that's strange. You have something else to take care of it. I don't know. Have you ever been robbed? Have I ever been robbed? Like on the street? Not like, not like mugged. Yeah. Not like someone coming up to me, like, give me your shit. But like I had, I had had things stolen from me, but never like an altercation. Hmm. No one's. I don't think everyone's ever. I mean, you know, thankfully, no one's ever tried to break into my house either. Why were you robbed once? Um, no, I don't think so. I, I, was, I just thought you were robbed for some reason. I don't think I was robbed. I mean, when I was delivering pizza, and I like my car was open, and like all the glove compartments were checked and shit. I was, Whoa! I was really? Not, yeah, yeah, dude. Do you know how much money I lost my uh, the business that I worked for because I just kept getting robbed. The I, my car was old and the, the so you did, got robbed a bunch of times. No, then. but but uh, you said altercation. Oh, okay. I didn't. All right. I, I said and that's uh, well, I'm clarifying. It's like yeah, like my glove compartments were checked. I think someone tried to steal my gas once. Like the 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 like siphoned it. Yeah, like the thing was open. I was like, where am I delivering pizza to? It's like I'm gone for two minutes. People are quick. Yeah, I mean siphoning gas is. It's, it's like we live. Where are we? Where are we that we're getting gas siphoned? You know, it's like. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. I, I feel like it's a pretty common thing. Dude. Yeah, especially here. Like, I don't think it's like a weird occurrence. True. I mean, they didn't steal this from me technically. Technically, I made a big oops. But there was one time I bought, I was going somewhere, I bought like a 24 pack of glass bottle teas and a 36 rack of beer. Mm-hmm. And my, my knee hit the trunk button. Trunk opened. Everything fell out. I pulled over the car. I, like, I went around the block because there was a lot of traffic. I came back around. All gone. Yeah. All gone. Like, like, literally, I swear to God, dude, a minute and a half, like, little rats came out. Little alcohol rats came out and took everything off the street. Everything. I believe in, I, 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 I have a good track record. I've, I've, like, left my street, uh, left my car with a trunk open and the doors unlocked in Brooklyn once. And I left it overnight. And not a single thing was stolen. Yeah, I, I had like valuable shit in there. Yeah, but I feel like when it's see that looks like a like a trap, you know, when it's too easy, <laughs> it's almost a deterrent because it looks like someone set that there in hopes that someone would try something. True. It's like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna be on sixty uh, minutes. That could that could be true. I'm gonna be on but, sixty but, minutes. But, but, but I was shocked. I was I was absolutely stunned. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. 
I guess it's I guess there's there are there are good people. There are good people. The or just like, you know, paranoid people who think like that's oh that's too easy. <laughs> that's too easy of a grab. Yeah, I think some criminals wanna wanna challenge, you know. And it, what's upsetting too is I also dropped my wallet once. I lost my wallet once and then the guy called I don't know how I even got in touch with him honestly, but he called me. Maybe I had my number in there somewhere. Just just in case cuz I worked at Pizza just in case I did lose it. I think I had my mm. number in there. And he called me and there was all the money was gone, you know, that classic thing. And I can't blame him cuz I don't know, but there is something about me going, "Do you have all my money?" You know? Oh, I mean, if someone returns Do you have all my money? if if someone returns my wallet to me, and the money's that's gone. That's the fee. That's totally fine. That's the that's fee. That's totally fine with me. Yeah, I guess so. I ha- I did lose. I lose my wallet a lot. Actually, I used to lose my wallet a lot. I did have a time where I left it on the bus, dude, on the bus, mm-hmm. and then it it came back to me. Like some, wow. I was on I was on the way to school, and I dude that bus. You know that bus goes everywhere, and someone simply returned it to me at the end of the day. I don't know that and wow. all the money and everything. That was crazy to me. That's amazing. I thought that first of all, I thought that was that, it was one of those things where as soon as you walk into school and you go. And you know you left it on the bus. It's like, oh, so that's it. Everything's gone. Like, I'm never getting it back. I don't think I've ever lost the wallet. That's hard to believe, actually. I really, I really don't. I mean, I've, I've, I've definitely misplaced it, but it's always come back. Like, I've never lost one. Like, right. like a, it's you know missing. An that's action. true. Both of them did come back to me. One fully loaded, and the other one completely empty. But it, it did come back. You see, I used to have, I, I, I used to have this wallet that one of my old roommates gave me. That was a wallet that had a key ring on it. And I thought that was such a great idea. It's had because, two keys. Because, you, because just like all the, the stuff in one little concise package. But then I thought, this has my address and the keys to that address, presumably. Yeah. On that's, it. Yeah. So it's, it's a, all your eggs are in that one so, keychain. So, so now if I lose it, not only do I, am I out of wallet, but I have to change my locks. Yeah. You gave this robber potentially everything he could have possible. That's the jackpot of, of a robber. Yeah. So so I so I so I I still use the wallet, but I just did I disconnect the keys. Joe just sent me uh, Joe just sent me this uh, this this is so funny, dude. So Joe Santagato just sent me this. It's a picture we were with him last night. It's a picture of of you with the one he tagged you, and it goes, "I'm not trying to diss this man on the left. He seems like he puts off a great vibe, but he also looks like he's gonna steal a bunch of dinosaur DNA in a shaving cream can." What the <laughs> fuck does that mean? Are you that Jurassic Park reference? Oh, with the the, the the guy who plays uh, what's his name? The, the yeah, 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 Newman. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, is it Newman? Yeah. Yeah. All right, give me a second. No, I definitely do have Jurassic Park vibes in that. Oh, uh, dude, I would you would thief some raptor DNA, dude. Well, I'm just there's something about there's something about the fat man in the Hawaiian shirt. Is that it? That is that it's it's unbeatable. I think it's like um, have you ever seen those those uh? camouflage ships in um world war one so basically in, in world war one they used to they used to like disguise camouflage they used to camouflage ships by painting like really crazy colors and very bold like weird patterns on ships because for some reason with the equipment they had back then that that actually made it harder to see even though you would think it makes it easier to see and i think that's the same thing with the fat guy in a hawaiian shirt is that it's like there's so many so much patterns going on that it like it's it's an optical illusion, right? And, they, and you, you we just because we, we just look good. Oh, we, you look yeah. good in a Hawaiian shirt. You yeah, know? I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know. Yeah, what technology did they? Ha- they didn't have like binoculars. Like what was the? Why was the pattern so? No, there was there's something. I forgot what it's. I forgot what it is. Like an infrared thing. No, let me see. Hold on. If it's just a ship in a Hawaiian shirt, no, they use it's, it's called it's called dazzle camouflage. Oh, but that see that's probably just because the color grading of whatever equipment couldn't see it, right? Because it looks, it's just black and white. Razzle dazzle. Well, no, these are just because the pictures are because it's old. But it oh, I thought. Not, oh, it's, oh, it, I thought it was not, in black. It's and white. not black and white. Oh. They're 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 colored. Um, it's because it's used extensively in World War One. You should, you should, uh, we should buy Dazzle shirts. As the above video shows, instead of attempting to hide the ship, the goal was to conceal the ship's course through flashy misdirection. Factors like the angle of the ship was traveling, its speed and distance from the U boat, from the U boat itself, was were hard to tell. So it's not about actually camouflaging the ship; it's about camouflaging which direction it's going, where it's heading. Because there's so many weird angles that you can't tell where it's going. Where, like, the front of it is? Yeah. Kind of? That is so interesting. 
and that's exactly why we wear Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirts. Because you, you, you don't want you, yeah. I, I won't. I don't want anybody to know where I'm going. Yeah, you you're know? not quick enough to like get around them. So exactly. if you if, if they go right, but you're actually going left, boom, right by them, touchdown. Exactly. That's cool. But like the man that. did say I give off good vibes. Yeah, you look like you give Hell off yeah. good vibes, dude. I'm a good vi- good vibes all around. Yeah, and you know who wouldn't want to steal some dinosaur DNA? To be fair. Hmm. What you want? No. One? No. No. Why not? Dude, well, I'll take some baby did eggs. Did you see the movie? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. But they're also... any Ed, The first freak who goes, you know, you know the movie Jurassic Park? We're going to try it. Yeah. Someone's going to do it. I promise oh. someone is going to do it. And everybody's going to go, wait, please, no. Yeah, yeah no, Jurassic Park's going to be a documentary. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. There's there's no there's no doubt in my mind that someone will try. Oh, but dude, I'm surprised. I, I bet Walt Disney is working on it right now. Oh, they definitely have something in the works. Or maybe. Well, I mean, it'll probably just be robots. But even that could go bad. But I would love to see a real dinosaur, dude. I would go. I would go. But if you don't put, if I'm not, I wouldn't be walking but, around. Yeah, the thing is, like, I don't like know. A, a a Jeep Humvee with no protections. Like I'm not crazy. This, no, I don't know. But I don't know if, to, you know, it's like the dinosaur. Who who knows if it's even what it was like you know so it's like oh and we actually redo it you know what i want to see i i bring, bring bring back the woolly mammoth first yeah dude let's do one at one at a time one that at a time that sounds like a cool ass animal the woolly mammoth i mean it's just a hairy hairy gross elephant it's not gross have you ever seen ice age it's Ray Romano and Queen Latifah. Kind of gross. Why are they gross? Just the way it looks. I mean what? Sid looks gross. No dude are you well well that well, no yeah Sid looks gross but Woolly mammoths look like like beautiful, majestic creatures. Dude, I guarantee that thing. Stinks. An elephant. An elephant looks gross. I mean, an elephant is fucking leathery. like leathery, old. Like like that looks like a woolly mammoth gone wrong. Yeah, maybe the woolly mammoth it has luscious manes and luscious and, locks. And, and, and and tusks that are that you know are beautiful. Dude, I think you'd look fly in like a woolly mammoth uh coat. You know, like a oh dude. yeah. I'm sure that would get a lot of flack. You probably can't go outside wearing that. Well, if we if we brought them back, it's an infinite supply. Yeah, exactly. And, and we don't have to hurt them; we just shave them. You know, shave them and knit it in. Or do you, you have to? Yeah, no, 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 no. That's that's why, like, like a sheep, sheep wool, right? sheep getting wool. Yeah, they actually not only is it, not only is it, you know, um, like we are we getting the stuff from it, but they actually like it because it, because you know a sheep a sheep in the wild will just kind of like grow. Exponentially, like really, really large, and then just kind of be like, Rah. yeah, and it's like, it's like puffball. D- don't they? Doesn't their fur grow so much that it, it actually could possibly just cover their vision, and then they're just that's it. Yeah. Also, they, you know, obviously, like, like, like if it gets damp, like, you know, a bacteria, a bacteria can Ew. grow, and it's yeah. heavy. You know, I, I went, I went to Ireland, um, and in Ireland, bang the sheep. There's so many sheep uh, that are that are there's so many sheep herders, um, that. It's that, and they just let them kind of graze free. That the way that they mark them is they paint the fur. So you, you'll be, it'll be like, you'll be like driving along the road, and they'll just be like blue sheep and green sheep. It's like a fucking Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> oh, because what? Because all the herders it's, it's, share it's, land. Like they that? all share land, and they just kind of let them graze, and then they'll paint a little symbol, like a blue plus sign, onto right. every sheep that is theirs. That's funny. Yeah, but it's, it's it's very wild when you're going through. You're like, is that a red sheep? Yeah, well, is that supposed to is be there? Bleeding? I didn't know they had. I didn't know they have those here. No. What about so? What they don't sell the wool then? Like it's no. I think it's just like a, or a I, dye that kind of probably like it washes out or something during the because you can't just like sell. You have to like do something. Do something yeah, to yeah the definitely wool. do something. So I think once it gets processed, it doesn't matter. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, but uh, that's my that's my sheep herder story. That's my sheep hoarder story. Sheep hoarder. Hell yeah. I got 45. We're done. Yeah, we're cool. This is it. Tell them where to find you, Danny. Tell them where to find me. How about you go first? All right. You can find me at Aunt Prisco. Oh. That's... You guys are so boring about it. You can find me at Danny is watching on Instagram, TikTok, and uh, the foot picture selling website. Oh, my God. What's that called? Foots for me? Feet for me? Mm. Foot me, baby? Mm. Hold on, something's there's a good there's there's something there. Freaky feety, freak, oh, that's a good one. Freaky, freaky feet, freaky Which, feet, feety freak. No, I like FF maybe. Uh, like something FF. Footsie feet, tootsie. Feet. Uh, feet for me. No. Feet for free. 
No, we're charging. No, that's, that, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we're charging. Yeah. That's just pictures of my Instagram. At Aunt Prisco. Feet for... Feet... Feet for... What, what was your first one? Uh, you lied. That was a good one. Feet, feet, feet for me. Feet for free? Feet. No. Feetsy, freaky feetsies. Freaky feetsies. Freaky feetsies. Yeah. <laughs> freaky feetsies. So you can find me if Danny's watching on Freaky Feetsies. And I already said mine. Don't forget to follow. Picky Voice Podcast. Like, share, subscribe. Share with your aunts and uncles. Just comment down below. You know, uh, have you ever seen a, a sheep? At all. Ever. Picture. And, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace, guys. Thank you.